I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily Englisher. Yesterday we went to Kelowna, which is a city about an hour and a half away from here. We went there to see a kind of dentist, a root canal specialist, and it was lucky that I was there to translate because my boyfriend had some trouble understanding what the dentist was saying. I didn't translate into Japanese, just into simple English. I think dentists are hard to understand, partly because they use some technical words, but also because they say some things indirectly. One example is when the dentist was explaining about the problem, he said that the original work could have been done better. Basically this means that it was a bad job, but he wouldn't say that, I guess because it's rude to criticise another dentist's work, and also because it just sounds more polite to criticise things indirectly. For example, if you went to a restaurant and you want to say, the waiter was nice, but the food was bad, you could say, the waiter was nice, but the food could have been better. It sounds a bit softer and more polite. What was Kelowna like? Is it a big city? Did you drive there? What's it like driving on the opposite side of the road? I don't know really, we only went to the dentist and the supermarket. Kind of. Well, it's bigger than Karameos, but it's not as big as like Vancouver. Yeah. Mmm, pretty freaky at first, but I gradually got used to it. What's this? It's a ball. What's this? It's art. What's this? It's a clock. What's this? It's a candle. What's this? It's a toilet. And that was the Daily English Show. See you tomorrow.